mythological creatures. Who are you? What are you? I'm a mermaid. That's right. Mermaids, able to swim underwater without oxygen. I started to cry. He was real. And I dreamed of it my whole life. Plus, marathon. Scarier, swimming with whales and sharks, or swimming this far under with no oxygen. Real life mermaids. It's like it kind of imbues me with some kind of superhuman powers. When we come back. Now, real life mermaids. Here's John Quinones. They live in the deepest water where light begins to vanish. Some of the largest, most feared creatures known to man. And there, swimming among them, what appears to be a legendary figure. In fact, she's very real. If someone were to ask you, who are you, what are you? I would say I'm a mermaid. That's right. A mermaid. Her name is Hannah Frazier, and she can free dive 50 feet below the sea and return to the surface on a single breath of air. Unlike most divers, Hannah carries no oxygen tank, no face mask, no warm wetsuit, only her mermaid tail. It's like it kind of imbues me with some kind of superhuman powers of confidence and longevity to be in the ocean. So, you know, really strong, fast swimmers can't keep up with me when I'm wearing it. And like magic, this special tail gives her speed, power, and maneuverability. You need to have a completely fluid movement so that all of the propulsion gets right to the end of the tail. Und undulating. And if you look at a dolphin, it's exactly the same thing. And that allows Hannah to keep up with the sea's fastest swimmers. This fascination, this dream of becoming one with sea life, began when Hannah was a young girl in Australia. Well, I made my first tail when I was nine years old, and it's quite amazing that my mother even let me tie my legs together and throw me into the pool with, you know, pillow stuffing down there. It was pretty Sounds dangerous. Like Houdini. Yeah, it was like sink or swim. She's been swimming ever since with more refined tails. In fact, she's turned this passion into a full-time profession, performing at aquariums and in films. It may look effortless, but make no mistake, Hannah's underwater adventures are not for the faint of heart. Swimming with whales was one of the most unbelievable, awe-inspiring experiences. There's this huge shape that just starts coming up. It's like the size of a building. And I'm like, oh, it's going to come up and I'm going to be on its back and I don't know, fall into its mouth or its blowhole or something. You don't have goggles, you can't see. I don't have see. goggles, I can't see. I am powering with all of my might to try and just keep up into the same water space as these animals. It is hard work and you have to be really, really fit to be able to do what I do. What happens next depends on the creatures she swims with and the ocean's volatility. I swam with a, a three meter manta ray. And as soon as it realized that it was touching me, then just kind of went Rip! And the power in that muscled wing was so incredible. If I had been like that much closer to it, it could have just totally dislocated my neck, yeah. And because she's such a committed ocean activist, the danger for Hannah is just as real above sea level. While protesting the slaughter of dolphins in Taiji, Japan, she was attacked by fishermen, captured in the film The Cove. They started backing their boat propellers right up to our legs, like we were that close to spinning boat propellers. Hannah Frazier defending the Earth's oceans as her mermaid alter ego. But believe it or not, she's not the only mermaid out there. Meet Lyndon Walbert. Lyndon has found encouragement from someone she always admired, Hannah Frazier. But Lyndon had never met her own hero until we brought them together. Did you make your tail? I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see yours too. Ocean's coming to claim us. <laughs> <laughs> Mermaids, helping the youngest among us discover the sea and protecting ocean life. Two women delivering an impressive bounty of goodwill by drawing upon myth and legend.
If I could get some gills that would allow me to, to just continue breathing and stay underwater, I'd be down there like 23 hours a day and just come up for a little bit of sunshine maybe. Next.